The Human Rights Commission has inspected the Rahima Musa mother and child hospital in Coronationville. Nine babies died at the hospital during March and July following an outbreak of necrotizing enterocolitis. It's alleged overcrowding at the hospital and a staff shortage led to the spread of the bacteria. ENCA reporter Malunga Loboy was at the hospital during the inspection and joins us now. Now, Malu, uh, did uh, the Human Rights Commission discover anything new or that we didn't know on the back, of course, of the tragedy? Not really, but what they are saying that they've been told and what they've also seen was that when they were at that neonatal ward, that um, they, 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 those babies there were actually quite crammed, uh, meaning overcrowding. But also, though, um, they're saying that they... Um, the staff shortage at that particular hospital is one of the biggest concerns, um, and hence they, there's also this belief that the spread of the, the, that led to the spread of, of this outbreak. We've also heard, Bravo, that um, there's a staff shortage. Um, the staff that's there, it's overworked. Some of the machine or the equipment that that that's there, it's not functioning properly. Now, this is not um, something we, it, it's not something new. We've had this before. In, That's in, what I was going in, to say in, because in the hospitals. department has admitted exactly. as much. I remember the MEC here uh, admitting that these indeed were the problems that led uh, to that tragedy. So what is the commission uh, um, going to do now, taking this forward? What is it putting on the table or recommending or says should be done? Remember, the Commission is a Chapter 9 institution, so it has a right to go and investigate and, and, and make recommendations. So this is what they are saying, that there will be an inquiry into the state of healthcare here in Gauteng. Let's take a listen. The inquiry will look into the entire health system in Gauteng. So we want them to respond to um, these allegations and to respond to the information that we have at our disposal pertaining to the lamentable state of health facilities in the province. Is it appalling? Is it a shocking state in the health um, service in Gauteng? Is it in a shocking state? It is in a shocking state. There's a looming crisis if nothing is done. We, 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 we are on, a, on a weekly basis are getting reports from organized labor who are complaining. We are getting report, we calls uh, and complaints from patients who are not happy with the kind of treatment that are receiving at hospitals. And of course, nurses, they're overburdened. They, they, there's absenteeism absent rate. And we are told today that they sometimes have to rely on agency staff um, who at the moment have not been paid. So. The MEC of, uh, of Health here in Gauteng and the HOD will have to appear before that inquiry and also explain what exactly are they doing to address some of these problems. Uh, early this year, before we saw activists marching to the Gauteng legislature complaining about the state of health care system here in Gauteng, saying that something urgent has to be done to address this particular problem. In fact, activists are saying that the health system in Gauteng has completely collapsed. Um, you can hear the, 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 the Human Rights Commission saying that if something is not done urgently to avert this, we may head into a crisis. Now, this uh, inquiry is expected to start, what, early uh, next year? Do we know uh, for how long it's, it's going to... It's, it, it, it's, it's going to depend on how many witnesses, perhaps, they, w they, they, they will call. But we know that uh, they want the MEC to, 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 to appear before that, that commission. But I also think it's important for me to say that, uh, Bravo, that the, 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 the officials from the Human Rights Commission have also called on the parents of those nine infants who died at that hospital to come forward so that they can assist them in getting redress because they're saying that the death of those infants was actually a violation of basic human rights and that of access to health care. Another problem, another inquiry. Let's hope that they will all lead us somewhere to ultimately the, resu the resolution of uh, all these problems. ENCA's Malungelo Boy on that particular story uh, for us. Now, this